What is it guys, I'm Morty and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 career mode. In today's video we start off by playing with Mexico and we do in fact uh, draw against Ecuador and beat South Africa. But anyway, we play against Wolves now. Um, before this video starts, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe, follow my Twitter and in red underscore 742 and also hit that bell icon and share a video with a family or friend and yeah enjoy the video but anyway in today's video well, before funny story I've just come to upload the video because I do uh, I do the video and then I just stop part of them because I'm an absolute legend <laughs> uh, um, yeah it's it's very frustrating. Basically, my commentary was split in two because you can only like I messed up, so I was like, okay, and then I'll just do it again. So I did it again, and for some reason that commentary has just disappeared. Now I don't know what's happened to it. I'm very frustrated, but that's gonna be in a bit when I say like in the commentary halfway through where I say Cabalona or whatever I don't know what I said but um anyway we play against Wolves and uh, the first chance came here but um it was a good save from the keeper and another chance comes here as it was crossing to Butland Butland um clears it away but look at that save from Butland Adama Traore coming very close there and another good chance but it drifted wide of the post and that was half time so half time the score was 1-0 1-0 um 0-0 uh, excuse me um nil nil and yeah it was quite a boring boring game so we go into the second half and well we have a good chance here but it hits the post very very close there but as a dormitory where he cuts inside he passes it but it was a good save from Butland after the shot but as Cavaloon had a shot it was a good save from Patricio from that corner it's crossing and it falls to Harry Maguire now this man has not been in great form recently but he scores a crucial, a crucial header. And yes, a very, very exciting um, um, goal from Harry Maguire. Obviously, I am chuffed about that. Uh, it's just great to see him score a goal. And it was in the last minute. It was a very scrappy game. You know, no one really deserved to win. It was quite a boring game. But as Harry Maguire, he leapt like a salmon. And he stang like a bee. And he gets his first goal in a Stoke City um, shirt. And that was full time. So we do in fact win the game 1-0. Now a very clutch moment at the end. And yes, obviously I'm ecstatic about that. I think everyone is as well. I mean, it's a great win. We didn't... We, I wouldn't say it's the most convincing convincing win. I would say the Southampton loss was more convincing than this. But um, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter, and I don't really care. We've been in a uh, we've been in up and down, up and down form, but we finally get another win, and Harry Maguire wins the header and he scores a goal. So very happy about that, and he was actually my man of the match. So Harry Maguire getting the goal, and it was a very nice header as well. He. Uh, he Maybe maybe the guy on the line could have done better than just watch the ball go in. <laughs> um, yeah, who cares? And uh, yeah, we do win the game at one nil, <clears throat> and that but puts us on quite good form now. Um, we needed that win. We hadn't been in great great form, but as we go into the Huddersfield game, we are trying to get two wins on the bounce. Which is obviously going to be the first, I think, of the season. I don't know, all right? Because this is this was recorded a long time ago. We are currently in sixth place, and um, yeah, we're gonna try and get two wins uh, in a row. Gonna be hard though. But Huddersfield are a team who I'd say probably would be battling a relegation battle. So this was a very, very big game. Also, Wolves was a big game, even though I do rate. Wolves, I think they're a very good team. Now, I do like them um, as a club, even though they did sort of buy their success. I have a thing for clubs that buy their success, don't I? But um, yeah, we say um, we line up with the same eleven. Now, this eleven is very, very strong. We got good players. We got uh, every position now. Like I said in the summer, we needed players in certain position to get that safety i think we're already safe i'm gonna put it out there we are already safe in the prem uh, but anyway 
Um, as we get the ball here, it falls to Hudson Adoy, and well, that's a brilliant goal. And this guy gets his third or second goal of the season. Does a does a brilliant celebration, and yeah, it's a great, great goal. Um, I really like the flick. I don't know who it was, but someone flicked it, and um, yeah, it was a great, great finish as well from uh, Hudson Adoy. And um, yeah, he gets his third goal. Is that second? Can't read from it. Second goal of the season, and yeah. Uh, by the way, this is for some reason I say something really weird. So this is where my old commentary comes in. So yeah, uh, this is gonna sound very weird. Calvert-Lewin, I couldn't think, but anyway, we win possession back here, and I mean, what was that from Lamina? Lamina loses possession, and that's a brilliant goal from the uh, striker. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but. It's a brilliant, brilliant goal. Uh, to, to, uh, I don't know how to say that. But Huddersfield go crazy because that is a great goal. And that's a great, great, great comeback. I mean, just before, I'm pretty sure it was before halftime. Yeah, just before halftime. And I mean, he gets his fourth goal of the season. So, Diakabi, Diakabi, maybe. I think that might be right. Um gets a fourth goal of the season and maybe we should look in for him um <clears throat> oh well um we concede and we go into half time but uh, drawing why do i never remember drawing one at one so we were playing good football but huddersfield just weren't gonna let go and not much happened in the second half until well elena plays it to calvert lewin and i mean that goal reminds me of the juve goal the brilliant juve goal as well um on his right foot not outside of the foot, but it was close enough. Elena plays it to Calvert Lewin, and Calvert Lewin gets another goal. So that is his second goal of the season, and obviously I'm very happy about that. And he was playing very well, but um, the last chance came here, and we and Huddersfield were putting on the pressure. And as Aaron Moy got put through on goal, he hits the bar, and we clear the ball away, and that was full time so very 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 clutch moment at the end but we do get is that our first win at home i think it is our first win at home this season and calvert lewin had a brilliant game he got a goal and an assist and um yeah a great great game my move of the match well i think i don't think i was thinking about it but it was a very big goal and well calvert lewin gets the goal and obviously i'm very happy about now him scoring I was a bit scared that he wouldn't be scoring uh, I was saying he's the next Abraham you know he's gonna he's gonna bang in the goals for fun but he didn't seem like scoring at the start of the season but now now he looks very confident in front of goal and um, getting a goal and an assist um, is very very good and he gets my man of the match but our next game is in the Caraba Cup and it's against Southampton playing our B team and we do in fact surprisingly win and I was very shocked about that, you know. But, uh, oh well. And we get a transfer offer now. <laughs> For some reason, we kept getting transfer offers. Even though, um, even though it already, what, um, it's been transferred deadline day. I know that can still happen. It was in last year's FIFA. But we got loads of transfer offers. And for this guy, damn. I'm I'm fine selling him, and we do get 14.5 million for Dam. Now I'm pretty sure we signed him for what? I don't know how much we signed him for, but I don't think it was that much. <clears throat> Maybe 10 million at uh, 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 most. I don't know. Um, but you know, we sell Dam, and we're not going to use Dam. I'm sorry, like we're just not going to use him. He he didn't play brilliant last season. He was all right, but I think I'm. I'm very happy with Diaz. He has been very good this season, and I think he's been one of the best signings, if not the best signing so far. I mean, yeah. And by the way, guys, uh, the season awards I really should have put on the best signing of the season and the moment of the season. I will remember to do that next season. I, I just forgot for some reason. But uh, oh well, we go into the next game against Derby. Now Derby moved up with us. They came second last year and did put a bit of pressure on us. But then we won the league quite early uh, with a few games to spare. So yeah, it, it was very good, and we got a hundred points, hundred points, and uh, yeah. 
Derby kick off the uh, first half, and the first chance actually does come to us though, as Diaz uh, cuts inside, he crosses it in, and Calvert Lewin comes so close with the header, but it, it's like FIFA 17, the rebound comes back to him, and he scores. So yes, Calvert Lewin getting another goal. Um, which is obviously fantastic, gets his third goal of the season, and um, yeah, very happy about that, it's a very good cross from Diaz, um, who has been one of my favourite players uh, this season, uh, definitely one of the best players, uh, Joe Allen or Lamina hasn't really lived up, and neither is Maguire and Holgate, but uh, Diaz definitely in attacking league, we have been very very strong um, but it's just defensively I don't know what's happened but we do come back again as Hudson Adoy looks to uh, cut inside and he does so he looks to shoot and uh, <laughs> it falls to Elena now <laughs> this goal this goal was hilarious it was hilarious as Hudson Adoy um, looks to shoot he does shoot and, and um, it hits Elena and <laughs> In the comical fashion, he died. He it hits him, and he he actually does get hurt. You can see he got hurt, but Hudson Adoy was going for goal, and Hudson Adoy probably had no I no like idea to pass to Elena, but Elena it just hits Elena in the head, and Elena scores. So um yeah, no nothing the uh, Derby um, goalkeeper could do. Who was having a very good game. Um, uh, there were a few shots that uh, he saved and very good saves actually but uh, we're going 2-0 at half time and we have another good chance as Calvert-Lewin looks at um, pass it to Hudson Adoy and that is a brilliant save I'll show you again the replay at the end of the match but that is a fantastic save and well Derby coming off that save and you can see in the top right Derby were dominating the second half and well they got a goal back the consolation goal maybe but 2-1 and they were back in the game and this was not good I actually said um, Southampton game um, we would actually lose because we just didn't look good in the second half and this is sort of a common a common theme that we're having in uh, in all the games recently we just don't look good in the second half of the game the Wolves game we didn't look great in the um, Huddersfield game we got a bit lucky I mean we were just getting dominated by Derby in the second half and well they had a massive chance there and I mean how didn't that go in I don't know who there was Holgate who put a last ditch tackle to block the ball and we do in fact win the game 2-1 and that's a very very big three points and we get nine points out of nine in this episode and I mean Although he conceded two, I thought the goalkeeper made a fantastic save. And as you can see, it took a deflection as, Hud uh, as Hudson Adoy shoots. It's a brilliant save. I mean, I don't, I don't highlight saves as much, but it takes a massive deflection. And oh, what a save that is from the keeper! And that's great reactions, great reactions from the keeper. And he had no chance. Uh, if it was actually going in by Hudson Adoy, but um, oh well. And Dam gets another offer, and we just asked for the same amount of money, 14.5 mil, uh, that we got. Um, that we said to was it ever Leicester, Leicester, and um, well, look at that, Liverpool, Liverpool going for us. So we're looking at the youth squad monthly report, uh, there are a few bad players, a few good players and we do in fact, I think we do sign one player but I'm not too sure yet. And we have got a few very, very strong players, I mean, uh, it, it, we, I think, yeah, Hill we got, we also got that left back Hall, Hugh Hall, Hugh Hall, that's going to be hard to commentate over isn't it. Um, we do get a few. Uh, we did get a cha training injury. Don't know. And this is basically our team. But Liverpool. I don't know. Should we go for it? Who knows? They went in for us. Maybe in the future. Who knows? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Follow my Twitter at number underscore seven four two. And I will see you later. Have an awesome day, guys. Goodbye.